Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining Timer Bowling Video Ball Reviews. Today we are testing the new 900 Global Sublime Focus. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. First impressions of the Sublime Focus, it's another very bright ball going down the lane, but very strong both in terms of oil handling and back end. All right, straight out of the gate, you can see how strong the 900 Global Sublime Focus is. The interesting thing is we had three balls with three strong covers being tested in this session. So the comparison was actually quite, quite telling. First thing is it's, it's the kind of, quote, big ball that you can trust to get going down lane. There's usually two types of strong cover balls. Those that are so strong that they sometimes bleed too much energy and don't do anything in certain conditions. And then there are those that just look too big by overhooking. The latter in my mind gives a bit more comfort and reliability for a bowler because you can make a more standard or obvious adjustment to the reaction, whereas the former you may have to square up more to get them to look like they're doing something. Now I'll say the Sublime Focus is a bit too strong for this pattern, so you see uh, different back row pin leaves and you see other than seven pin leaves because it can generate some decent angle and therefore a bit of over under on this while I experimented on the lane. The back end is strong enough that I would consider slotting this ball in a strong defined slot potentially. Um, but the truth is this really should fit in a strong control you know, part of the bag. It gets more interesting when you see it next to the Motive Sub-Zero Forge. And the Sub-Zero is way earlier and rollier. It likes angle less than the Sublime Focus, but conversely provides a bit more control all while filling the same slot in the bag. So something to think about. For Tyler, the overall story is not really different to what I saw in the sense that it's a pretty strong ball with good bin laid and read, decent pop for a heavy rolling ball. It's for sure too strong for this house pattern now that, you know, it, it you know, I would say it's been shortened a bit from previous tests. We still have that dead outside characteristic of this pattern and the HPL, HPL lanes and that, and that doesn't matter which ball you throw. Because of the built-in lane friction, balls just kind of die from the outside down lane. Anyway, it's a decent ball reaction for Tyler. The, the best look is near the fourth arrow and keeping the break, break point just off the heavy outside friction. This allows a sublime focus to store the appropriate amount of energy to hit well. For Brian, the strength plus that back end was a very obvious characteristic. The, the focus definitely had more punch down lane than most balls we've tested. Um, with Brian, especially those with strong covers. You'll notice he starts out in his normal track near the second arrow, but he has to get a little deeper to account for the strong back end. From 13 and beyond to the third arrow, the ball has excellent mid, -king, mid lane control, as well as strong movement down lane, which yielded a very nice ball reaction overall. It was honestly quite impressive for Brian. It also shows that the matchup of a ball to volume and the lanes depends on the bowler. Uh, the ball felt pretty good for this medium volume for Brian, but looks like it would run out of steam as the oil depletes. In the end, I'd say the Sublime Focus seems like a, a good release from 900 Global. It's a strong ball that still creates reliable down lane motion, um, and that's usually a very good option for the strong side of the bag. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.